Damas y caballeros, hoy en la partida tenemos los azules contra rojos y aquí vamos. Viene Cotter del Savage y la pasa por la esquina. La agarra al Manaya, Manaya la regresa, quiere agarrar el Gold Tiger, la toca por el aire y la para. Dice que no, aquí no. El Hot Savage la quiere agarrar, viene el Size Mark al lado. El Hot Savage la, la pasa, no, Size Mark la toca de nuevo. Cotter detrás de él. Aquí viene el maná, la quiere parar y no puede. El centro está ahí y nadie está para agarrarla. El Gold Tiger la viene. Size Mario regresa de defensa, quiere el push. Viene aquí, la quiere parar, la toca, pero el centro. No, no, qué mal. Aquí viene el Size Mario, la pasa al centro. Size Mario, ahí va. Size Mario con el golazo y gol. Gol del centro, el Size Mario. My name is Size Matters. Welcome to the Wiki Show. Rocket League is a single to multiplayer sports game with driving mechanics. Originally described as soccer but with rocket powered cars, Rocket League has now expanded to include hockey and basketball among other game modes, although the heart of Rocket League still lies in soccer. The game is played in a third person pseudo bird's eye view. The game can be played up to 8 players total online. The game is set in an arena of different sizes and location. It follows the players to see who could score the most points in a 5 minute time frame. The game was developed by Psyonix and published by the same as an indie title. It is built upon the Unreal Engine, original release of the Steam platform on Windows and on PlayStation 4 on July 2015, later to be released on Xbox One on February 17, 2016, then again released on OS X and Linux on September 8, 2016, then once more released for the Nintendo Switch on November 14, 2017. The project lead for the game is Thomas Silloway. Key producer was Sarah Hebler. Design director was Corey Davis. Theater director was Dave Hagewood. Music composed by Mike Alt, among others. Quick side note here, the music in this game is great. The soundtrack are available for download and they are definitely worth it. The game takes the idea of soccer but with rocket powered cars and runs with it. The objective is simple. Make the ball go into the opposing team's goal to score a point. To do this, the player drives their vehicle to bump or push the ball into a desired direction. The player can drive through glowing lights that refuel the boost in the vehicle. The boost can be activated at any time as long as there is a reserve available. The player can also perform two jumps in any given direction. These jumps are reset once the player touches the ground. In addition to these, the player can perform braking maneuvers to slow down or use the power brake to drift along a path while braking. All vehicles have the same acceleration and top speed. The ball is handled in the physics portion of the engine, allowing for the ball to follow prediction paths similar to the real world. The camera angle gives the player the sense that they are using an RC car, adding to the fun and lighthearted nature of the game. Besides the soccer game mode, Rocket League has 5 other types of game modes. Number 1. Hockey. Where the ball is replaced by a puck, the physics are altered to make the puck heavier than its counterpart and allow for more skidding around the arena. Number 2. Basketball. The ball is giving a basketball skin and the physics are changed to allow for a slightly more buoyancy. The arena is slightly smaller and the goal areas are lifted so as to force the player to score by performing aerial moves. Number 3. Rumble. It takes the concept of soccer but now adds special moves that can be performed by the player. Number 4. Drop Shot. This is the most distinctive one out of all the game modes. It places the player in a hexagon arena where the objective is to break the panels underneath the opponent's area to let the ball slip through that hole. Number 5. Rocket Labs. The last of the game modes which is an area where the player can try new arenas that the developer may implement. In all game modes, if the teams are tied, the game goes into overtime where the first to score a goal is decided as the winner. As mentioned previously, all vehicles chosen have the same top speed and acceleration, but all vehicles have different hitboxes. This means that a ball being hit at the same speed from the same angle by two different vehicles will not always have the same result. Additionally, the turn radius for the vehicles are different as well. The player can spend many hours finding their perfect vehicle. The vehicle can also be customized cosmetically, allowing for different color schemes, boosts, antenna boppers, decals, and many more items. All arenas are enclosed in a box, giving the player the option to drive on the walls or even drive on the roof. Previously, I spoke about being able to use boosts and being able to jump. These play into the game as the player can manipulate the vehicle into taking flight and hitting the ball mid-air with their vehicle. Mastery of this proves difficult, but can be used in extremely high level plays. The player can also use their boost to hit max speed, while at max speed the player can ram into other vehicles causing the opposing vehicle to blow up and wait for a 3 second respawn. This is an aggressive playstyle and can be used to clear the field if necessary. The game can be played in 1v1 called duels, 
2v2 games, 3v3 which are called standards, as well as 4v4 called chaos. Most of Rocket League's esports events are played in the 3v3 format. Rocket League was previously called Battle Cars 2 within Psyonix. This is because Rocket League is a spiritual successor to Psyonix's previous work called Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars, or Battle Cars for short. Battle Cars was released for PS3 and did not do so well commercially, but it had a strong following. Psyonix wanted to develop a sequel taking the lessons learned from the previous game. In 2011, Psyonix approached Electronic Arts to seek publishing and funding for work on what would become Rocket League, but were ultimately turned away. Full development of Rocket League began around 2013. Learning from community feedback, Psyonix focused on making the games run at 60 frames per second, slow down a bit the gameplay, and make the game more welcoming to newcomers. Hagewood wanted to add power up to the core game similar to what is seen in the Rumble game mode, as well as making the game in an open world structure, driving between stadiums to play matches. The game was also planned to be a free to play title. In the end, Psyonix opted to strip away all the extra layers of the game and focus on the core mechanic of the game, as well as strip the free to play model and sell at a cheaper price while selling cosmetics in a later point. Being aware of the competitors of the game, Psyonix decided to use the bullet physics engine found within the Unreal Engine as to keep the game state synchronized between online players. Adding to this, Psyonix was able to afford dedicated servers to be used for the online experience prior to the launch of the game. Rocket League was received with great reviews, averaging 86 out of 100 between the PC and PlayStation 4 reviews on Metacritic on its original release. One of the greater praises Rocket League received was from the Jimquisition with a perfect score, saying, If you love sports, cars, or neither, Rocket League is your cup of tea. The lowest score I was able to find was from Eurogamer Poland, with a score of 60 out of 100, and had this to say, Rocket League is the perfect game for short sessions. Lack of diversity is the game's biggest issue. The light quickly turns into boredom. A retail version of Rocket League in the form of the Collector's Edition was released on June 24, 2016, which was published and distributed by 505 Games and included the first three DLC packs. At the start of 2018, Psyonix announced that a total of 6 million cells and 40 million players have been recorded for Rocket League. Rocket League has received a lot of post-release love. As of January 2018, the game has received multiple DLC and multiple updates. All updates are free, the DLCs available are cosmetics and do not have an advantage to any player over another, Psyonix later added loot boxes into the game. These loot boxes serve only for cosmetics, although to open these boxes a player must purchase keys. Updates to Rocket League occasionally include a new arena to play in. In order of release, here are the major updates and DLCs. Utopia Colosseum and Supersonic Fury Pack were released on August 13, 2015 and it included two cards, Dominus and Takumi, along with other customizable items. Revenge of the Battle Cards, released on October 13, 2015, it includes two cards, which are remakes of Psyonix's last title. These are the Scarab and Zippy. This DLC included customizable items to be applied. Back to the Future Pack, it adds the DeLorean Time Machine vehicle as a playable car. This was released on October 21, 2015. Wasteland Arena and Chaos Run Pack was released on December 1, 2015. This DLC included two cars, Ripper and Grog, alongside more customizable options. Shortly thereafter, the game mode Snow Days was released. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Promotional Car Pack. It includes a reboot Batman vehicle along other customizable options. Released on March 8, 2016. NBA Flag Pack and Hoops Game Mode was released on April 26, 2016. The flag pack later got retired on September 28, 2017. Neo Tokyo Arena, later renamed Tokyo Underpass, was released on June 20, 2016. This was followed with the release of the vehicles Aftershock, Marauder, Esper, and Masumune on July 18, 2016, each available for purchase separately. Rumble Game Mode was released on September 8, 2016. This update also added loot boxes into the game. New arena named Aquadome and the vehicles Proteus and Triton were released on October 4, 2016. Starbase Arc, modeled after the mobile game Arc Squadron that Psyonix worked on, and the vehicle Vulcan were made available for purchase on December 7, 2016. Twin Mill 3 and Bone Shaker were both released licensed under Hot Wheels, made available on February 21, 2017. This update also added PS4 Pro support. The latest game mode, Drop Shot, was released on March 22, 2017 with a game mode only arena named Core 707. 
a vehicle named Ice Charger, modeled after the Dodge Charger found in the film The Fate of the Furious, was released on April 4th, 2017. The Arena Farmstead was released on September 28th, 2017. Another deal with Universal Studios saw the creation of the 1970 Dodge Charger RT and the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. These vehicles were featured in the Fast and Furious franchise, appearing in The Faith of the Furious and Too Fast Too Furious, respectively. These were released on October 11th, 2017. In an interview with Game Informer, studio head Dave Hagewood was asked what was the goal for Rocket League as a product. Hagewood responded by saying, That's always been a big question for us. We thought about it for a long time. What is this world that we are making? We don't have a definite answer on even big things like that. Are these full-size cars in an insanely large arena? Or are these small RC cars or micro-machines? It says a lot that our focus is on gameplay and making the game fun for the fun of it. We have some ideas that we talk about that we haven't really exposed to the people. But for the most part, we've always just kind of said, accept it for what it is. This concludes the history of Rocket League an indie game that had barely any marketing behind it but is now tens of millions of players large. Having no initial support from a publisher, it came with its crazy idea and ran with it, becoming a huge success and now even having a presence in the esports scene. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you like what I put out, hit the subscribe button. Any comments or ideas for the future wiki show entry, leave it in the comment section down below. This is Size Matters, see you later.